Um, hi, my name is Lynn. I'm Donna Sesman. Everyone knows Donna, but I don't think everybody knows me. And uh, my sons are Kyle and Josh. And Pastor Jim had asked me to give my testimony in three minutes, which is not possible. Um, so I'm going to be as close as I can to three minutes. But I actually am going to even stretch that a little bit and give you a story of something that happened to me immediately after I was, um, I was saved. I married Donna when I was 25 years old. And it was a five-year process. My testimony goes over a very long period of time. Um, I didn't become a Christian until I was 30 years old. And it actually came at the, end of, um, my, at the end of a time where my brother-in-law gave me the Jesus movie tape. I don't know if anyone's seen the Jesus movie. But there's an invitation at the end of that. And I, I prayed with the, the commentator, whoever it was, at the end of that tape. And I became a believer. I was by myself on a Saturday morning in my house when that occurred. So what I'd like to do that's more dramatic than that is tell you what God did almost immediately after I became a Christian and had to do with the way Don and I, um, our situation that we were in. When we were first um, married, we both had good jobs. We would bought a condo. However, Kyle had been born, and half our income went just like that because Don wanted to stay home and raise Kyle, so we had to figure out a way to lower our expenses. We started looking out here in Marietta. And we put a deposit down on a home. There's a whole miraculous story behind that also we don't have time for. But now it became time to sell our home in Orange County, which was a, a small condo. And um, I had been reading the Bible. I didn't know where to start. No one had told me. I got saved on my own. So, well, not on my own, but I got saved in my house. So I just picked up the Bible and started reading the first part of it. It started in Genesis. And um, we were, it was on a Wednesday, and I didn't know what to do about selling a house, and it and I'd been reading that I should respect my parents and listen to what they have to say. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to call my dad. Now, this was no small issue because I'd worked for my dad for 10 years at this point, and that put a very serious strain on our relationship. So it wasn't something I wanted to do, but I thought, you know what? I'm reading this. Let's just try it. So I call my dad, and he tells me the last thing I wanted to hear. He tells me that, <laughs> he tells me, you know what? Just sell it yourself. You don't need to get anyone to help you with that. And I I thought, what? I have all this work I'm responsible for. I don't want to do that. But now I was stuck because I said, hey, I'm going to, um, I, I, I'm going to follow what God says. So I, I didn't know what to do on Thursday. Um, I ran an ad in the newspaper for an open house on Sunday. Move forward to Saturday morning. Saturday morning, Don and I, for various reasons, we thought we weren't going to sell the house, so we just fixed the house up. Still had the handrails for the um, banister off. Had a friend who worked for me. I actually hired him. We became friends over time. But he actually worked for me, and he was helping me with the banister. And he says, Lynn, I think we should put the sign out. By the way, he was not a Christian. And I said, Craig, let's get the banister on, then we can put the sign out. The open house isn't until tomorrow. And he says, okay. 30 seconds go by. Lynn, I really think we should put the sign out. And I said, Craig, I said, let's just get the handrail on. It's just a couple of minutes. Let's get this done, then we'll put it out. And, he, and again, keep in mind that he worked for me. And I, he said, okay. And he was not a believer. Again, he says, Lynn, you know what? I really think we should put the sign out. The third time, I said, okay, Craig, let's just get this. Let's do it. So I went to the garage, got the sign. We had to put it together, take it out front, had the nice little for sale by owner thing flapping on the bottom, put the sign out. We came back in. We walked out to the front, walked back in, got back on the banister again. I really wanted to get this banister done. And there's a knock on the door. I open up the door, and there's a lady there, a real estate agent, saying, um, will you work with an agent? And I said, well, I was shocked. I said, well, if the price is right. And she said, OK. She went and got her client. They walked through the house. They left. And we went back to the banister. Finally got the banister done. <laughs> an hour later, an hour later, I get a phone call. And it's the real estate agent on the phone. She said, we would like to offer you this amount. Now, what I haven't mentioned is that I did, had no idea how to sell a house, so I inflated the price of the house, thinking that I was going to have to barter to get it down. So she offered me, almost, she offered me just $1,500 less than what we were asking, which was way inflated. And I said, OK. She, she calls me up and says, I have a $5,000 check. I'd like to give you a deposit. She shows up. She shows up. She starts doing the paperwork. I don't even have to do anything now, because now the real estate agent is taking care of all the work. Um, we're, we're, as she's filling out the paperwork, we're talking. I said, how did you happen to find it? Did you see the ad in the paper? She says, oh, no. She says, that's an interesting story. 
She says, we were on our way to make an offer on another place. And my client, just as we were coming up on your street, our client said she wanted to go by the schools again one more time just to make sure. So I made a quick left turn, and I saw the sign out front. And I thought, you know, these places are cute. I know she'll like them. So she said, let's look at these. So she, she drove in, and that was how she got there. And I, I said, wow, that's amazing. I mean, I was amazed. I wasn't saying that to her again. As a new believer, I, wasn't, I was just thinking to myself, that's crazy. It had nothing to do with the ad I ran. So then I said, you know, there's no way this place is going to appraise at what you're paying for it. And she says, yeah, I know. It's a cash sale, so we don't have to have an appraisal. <laughs> and I thought, wow. I said, with my personality and the way I made the, we're going to hear about I'm doubting Thomas in the flesh, which we're going to hear today. The, it's not about the money or this. If, if you misunderstood it, they think it's about the money. It's just that God showed himself with my personality in a way that is incomprehensible to me. He had believers and non-believers alike meet at exactly the right place at exactly the right time um, so that he could, he could basically answer a challenge I didn't know I was making about following what the Bible had told me to do in the first place. And to me, that is, it's every time I have any doubts about God, I think about that story and I realize that he is an amazing God. He can create a universe, but he also will deal with our each individual. This wasn't even a need. This was just God showing himself to be real to me. I, I thank you. Very good.